focus on with what we do is uh, financial wellness, uh, but also you need to take care of yourself and be happy with what you do so you can enjoy uh, being financially uh, successful. So uh, just to get started, uh, when I was reading through Susan's website and, and looking her up, I, I was actually drawn and interested that this is not the industry or profession you started in. So tell us a little bit about how you came through and how you ended up here. Sure. So um, I actually started out to be an illustrator, mm -hmm. and I often kid that I started out to be an illustrator and I ended up doing paint by numbers in Excel. <laughs> so while they were beautiful charts, they didn't really um, serve my heart's purpose sure. and my life's purpose. It's so, like paying the bills for what the business needed, right? Right, and also yeah. developing um, your skills, but through that path I learned a lot about um, how to go to market with things and how to work with others and also an opportunity to develop younger people's skills and abilities. Mm -hmm. So some mentoring, some business strategy, professional okay. um, protocols and I really have always had a gift for healing mm -hmm. and I see a lot of healers walking away from their gift and it's mm -hmm. a waste. Um, people are working in bars because the tips are better. Oh, yeah. So I have a real problem with that. Yeah. As our aging population needs drug-free pain relief, sure. which Massage and uh, Thrive offers infrared. You want to get away huge. from there's a pill for that, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, we uh, actually have had success with people who were concerned about getting addicted to opiates and then using or even over-the-counter medications too frequently come and do an infrared sauna treatment, mm -hmm. this is going to reduce the inflammation, it creates an artificial fever, mm -hmm. and what that's going to do is allow your body to heal itself using the natural means of the body to heal and reset to homeostasis instead of taking a pill. Sure. Um, we even have people that come in, um, I just started, uh, let me back up, I just started um, as a healing angel about 20 years ago, mm -hmm. I really started to be... Uh, in touch with what were the alternatives in my own hands-on healing. So I became Healing Angel number 155 uh, around 1999. Okay. And have worked with different healing modalities ever since. Yeah, so when I left years. retail, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 19. And so when I left retail, uh, I knew exactly where I was going to go. I knew mm -hmm. I wanted to start a spa that would be local, affordable, accessible, and would really help people in our community. Awesome. That's the key. That's you the key. know, is is because. You know, obviously, if you can do something good that you have a passion about, and it's going to help other people, and it's affordable to them, you're like hitting all the things. That's it. It's the think. triple win. And like you said, if you can do some things that, obviously, you know, not not getting into replacing medicine, right? But to do some alternatives, because I, I, I it's about a year ago, I read a book, and it was, uh, you know, basically talking about you know, 70 to 80% of the history of medicine is mainly placebo, so like the power of your own mind, mm -hmm. but that pill or whatever it is acts as something that actually works, but unfortunately we take these things that give us all these side effects that go along with it. Why can't we add something that doesn't have the negative side effects right. that helps people? And with know? any healing modality, you have to work within the patient's belief system. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, sure. a Native American tribe that has shaman uh, based healing, mm -hmm. if that is what you grew up with and that is what your culture, then that is going to be in line with your beliefs. It's going to be more accessible for you. You're going to be open to it. Yeah. In our culture, we were taught very much the Western model of wait till Science. it breaks and yeah. then fix it. Yeah, yeah, sure. And I think now, more and more, we're seeing a blend of the Western traditional med medicine mm -hmm. with the alternative. We see a lot of MDs going back for a functional medicine degree mm -hmm. or integrative medicine and walking away from the prescription. Not that there, it doesn't have its place. It does. Sure. But it should be always the least invasive thing and then stepping up to the more invasive things. And like, except in the case of massive trauma. Obviously, yes. you know, um, you don't call your Reiki master when you're in a car wreck. You're in the yeah. emergency room. It's yeah. traumatic. You yeah. have to do things that are life-saving measures. And sure. Put the body back yeah. together. So After right it's together, tool then, for the job. Yeah. <laughs> right tool for the, the deal. Job. Well, let's kind of dig in a little bit because this is one thing that I was interested in. Um, that I know probably a lot of the people that are regulars with you, they know all this stuff, and obviously you do. But like, explain to us what are the different types of massages from, you know, Swedish to therapeutic, and then I know sure. there's all these subcategories. 
and I have no idea what the difference is really. So okay. maybe you could explain. So a bit yes, more. in our spa, we we divide uh, massage into two broad-based categories. One is Swedish or relaxation massage, okay. and this you would do. So that's what that means. Swedish. Yes, yeah, Swedish is a relaxation type okay. of massage. It's long strokes. It's uh, it's gentle, and it's really meant to do gentle release, you're moving the lymph system, you're working with the muscles, you're doing the releases, but it's more about someone who is healthy, who is doing maintenance. And you know, for that you would do maybe once a month, you come in and you get this done, and that therapist is really working as a partner with you to keep your body healthy and functional. Mm -hmm. So a Swedish massage is a gentle and relaxing maintenance kind of tool. And so you'd say if you're generally healthy and you're just doing this as like a maintenance thing or just because just you want to feel good, once a month is a good once time a month frame. is a good kind of time frame for just your basic maintenance, someone mm -hmm. who's very healthy. Now if somebody has something they're working on, uh, then we would step up to a more therapeutic sure. uh, massage. And there are many types, as you notice. Um, a lot of that is taught, you know, the basic massage is taught, and then there are different modalities okay. that are taught for very specific purposes. For example, um, you might do a myofascial, which you're trying to get release of the, the fascia is, is the kind of the muscle coatings. And so you're working to get releases there where trauma might have locked something up, or there may be adhesions, or there may be just emotional holding. Ten years ago, you hurt your shoulder and you're still holding it, and you don't even know that, but when you hold one thing, you throw everything else out of whack. Sure. So for a therapeutic, we pay our therapists more, mm -hmm. they're more skilled, sure. and they're going to dial in and do a deeper kind of work. So when someone says they want deep tissue, sometimes what they really want is firm pressure Swedish. Got it. Okay, they just want yeah. that firm pressure, but that's very different than dialing through the layers of muscle down into, and the therapist has to really work to get through those layers mm -hmm. and very skillfully to get those releases. Um, we at Thrive will pair that with an infrared sauna very often because sure. if you preheat the body, the blood is flowing, blood pressure reduces, endorphins are being released in the body, mm -hmm. so it's, um, it's reducing pain, and because the muscles are all preheated, normally a therapist might spend the first 15 minutes just warming you up so they can get to do the work. Yeah. If you come on that table preheated, you're putty. Yeah. So you're going to get a release with a much gentler process. Your body is prepared okay. to release. It's already starting that process. And the therapist then can do better work and get more accomplished in that hour. Okay. And we also do, because we're a Golden Rule Spa, mm -hmm. we say if you buy an hour of massage, you're going to get a full hour of massage. Our hour starts when the therapist's hands begin work, not when well, you walk awesome. in the door. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're just putting people through on the hour. So you've mentioned it a couple times, and I looked it up. And obviously, I, I mean, I had never heard of the infrared spa. Right. And I, of course, the first thing I, I thought of, and I had to Google it to check it out, just thinking about tanning beds and stuff, I was right. like, can this cause cancer or whatever? And it's like, no, that's the other end of the, the spectrum, right? This right. is the lower wavelength. It doesn't do that. So tell us a little that's bit correct. about infrared saunas. Okay. What's the difference between a regular sauna? Sure. You know? So um, the, to the first point that you made, the, the UV spectrum of the blue spectrum is the yes. UVA, UVB. That's the tanning part. The active, that's the part uh, that will damage, uh, DNA, activate yeah. melatonin, yeah. And, mm -hmm. and, uh, and actually uh, it puts you at the cancer risk. Yes. And so we don't do that. Um, we use the red light spectrum of the sun, mm -hmm. which is, and we have near, mid, and far. Far infrared has been around for a very long time. Yeah. The people who founded Sunlight and came out of P&G Pharmaceutical, it was actually started by a guy with, who was an engineer mm -hmm. with fibromyalgia, and he was using far mm -hmm. infrared to get relief from that. Yeah. He went to his sister and brother-in-law, Connie and Aaron Zach, at P&G mm -hmm. Pharmaceutical and said, hey, I think I have the basis of drug-free pain relief business. Let's take a look at this. Yeah. That was 20 years ago. They're off to the races. So about the time <laughs> okay. I was becoming a healing angel, they were starting their journey. Yeah. And I had followed their journey for quite a while. Um, when they were just doing the far infrared, but when they went full spectrum is where they really caught my attention. Yeah. Um, with the near infrared, you can do things that will help the skin. There's a NASA protocol for uh, wound healing with near and far that mm -hmm. has been demonstrated to speed up the time. People use the infrared, the red light, um, the, the, the mid and the far are more for the detox and the deeper level. Mm -hmm. You can burn up to 600 calories in a session wow. in the infrared sauna. Because as your body yeah, is heating up, it's working there. to cool itself down. Mm -hmm. So 
your body you're like in a 30 minute stays. time period yeah. you actually burn more than if you went running or swimming absolutely and yeah. for someone who can't do that running yeah okay um there are a lot of people who have already crossed the path where they're sedentary or they just don't have the motivation maybe to get out and do that run well yet. they could use it together yeah and, do and more people and use it up. for workout recovery because you kick up the metabolism it's like changing your oil filter you're cleansing from the inside Make sure you drink water right a lot of water <laughs> you definitely have to hydrate because it is dehydrated yeah. and people will ask me like we have people come in after a chemo, and so they'll do a full course, and then um, they want to get all those toxins out of their body. Mm -hmm. So after they're completely they sweat finished, it out and stuff too. They yeah. can sweat it out. That's exactly right. It will chelate heavy metals, any environmental mm -hmm. toxins, pharmaceutical. But we do not so do is, alcohol because alcohol recovery. Oh, because they're already dehydrated. dehydrated. Yeah, they and then have you don't. Or something, bingo. Yeah. So you, yeah. you know, we do not encourage that at all. Okay. So. Um, question then so like on the regular saunas they have like high humidity and stuff are these right. are you adding water into there too no, or is, is it more of a dry, dry. Hot? any water yeah. that's in there is coming out of your system okay so it's very different than a steam sauna a steam sauna will penetrate the body about a half an inch okay. maybe a quarter inch half an inch of penetration of that heat uh -huh. so you're really only treating the skin with a steam sauna you're just you're activating the sweat glands but most of the water you're getting from that is the steam itself interacting with your body mm -hmm. but you will sweat because it's at a much higher temperature and infrared sauna works at a much lower temperature mm -hmm. and um, it's very safe they use them in the NICU for the in newborns yeah. because yeah, you see them under the, yeah. yeah they're under infrared light because they can control the core body temperature with no risk of burn and keeping a very low cabin temperature mm -hmm. I also find in the infrared that it opens up the breathing passages I love the heat. I get in a steam sauna in about five minutes. I'm like, I have to get out and breathe. <laughs> but in this, it will literally open the breathing package. So you can passage. still breathe again. You've got some yeah. mucusy coming up. It will help to cleanse that out of the body much so faster. That begs the question for me. Does it get so if it doesn't get that hot in there, do you have to like turn around and stuff? No, Almost you like see a rotisserie it, person. It, actually, the um, <laughs> the heaters are all around, so you're surrounded by okay. them. And in our booth, we have uh, chromotherapy lights, and then we also have a special music. Mm -hmm. So sound technology is based on the old Hemi sync, and it plays one frequency in one ear, one in the other. It helps to bring the mind to still point. So while okay. you're in what I call the cocoon of nurture, <laughs> um, you're really just, you're surrounded by this really soft music. It encourages you to just release it. Yeah. And you can lean back, and you're just, ah, oh, and you're just releasing everything. Uh -huh. um, but the toxins that are measured from a steam sauna are about 3%. The sunlight and saunas are more than 20%. 27% toxins were measured in their clinical trials of percentage of toxin in that sweat. So it's okay. a much more effective deep cellular level cleanse because the penetration, steam sauna half an inch, um, infrared sauna two to three inches. So you're getting much deeper wow. into the body yeah. and it cool. allows the body to activate. You I know, can't believe I haven't heard of it more. Yeah. That you know, give me a fever and I can cure anything, you know. Yeah. Um, and that's just, you know, that's old wisdom, but the body has its own mechanism. So what we're doing is tapping into the body's own natural ways. The infrared has been around for quite a while. Alternative yeah. practitioners have been using it for many years. Um, but it's really becoming mainstream now because it's a huge health hack. Yeah. A huge health hack. People use it for if you work out and you want to get rid of that metabolic waste, because you build a lot of lactic acid, a lot of it can't help waste. you get rid of the lactic acid. It's going to speed faster. everything up. It's going to it's going to it's going to increase that metabolic process and eliminate that's the waste cool. faster. Yeah. So in all all types of waste. That guy that you had on your video, I think that's one of the main reasons he said he did it. Yeah. Everyone, so it was to help himself recover from working out. Right, a and lot. the cardio yeah. because um, the cardio program with Sunlighten's uh, program runs. It goes up to a high. It's almost like a high intensity workout interval. So it spikes and then it comes down to levels. So then it relaxes and then you spike again. And this is going to cause. Um, overall a lowering of diastolic and systolic blood pressure both immediately and over time so um, just by heating it up you're, yeah. you're heating that core and then my belief is that because you're cleansing the body it's like changing your oil filter if things are running more smoothly mm -hmm. the body runs more efficiently this is what the anti-aging is really about it's about undoing the damage that you've put environmentally into the body. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so eliminating those environmental toxins which let's face it they're just inescapable yeah i don't yeah. care how clean you try I mean, to i'm live. sure unless we're better than china line. but any industrialized place is gonna right. have it right? unless you're living in a bubble quite literally yeah um you cannot eliminate your exposure even to you know the toxins of 
uh, the fabrics that we sure. that we come in contact. And they all coat them with all the chemical here. to make sure they don't burn. Yeah, you know, right, so right, they yeah. Anti trade one thing for another one, right? It's all trades. It's <laughs> all trades. <laughs> all right, so let's talk about one more thing. Um, uh, I think the Reiki I, I read on there, and I hadn't heard that before. Okay, so, so tell yeah. us what tell us about that. Reiki is a system of energetic healing, and you're mm -hmm. treating the energetic body. So it is a Japanese style. Um, there are several. There's pranic healing from the Korean, uh, Reiki. Uh, we have a Reiki master who practices. We have mm -hmm. two actually in our spa. One is an LMT and one just does Reiki okay. independently. Um, what that's doing is, again, the energetic body holds all of the history of the traumas of our life. Mm -hmm. And so by going in and working with that, you can open up the channels of energy, get things moving again, and clear some kind of intractable things from the body. Yeah, and it's um, I don't want to speak too much because I'm not a Reiki master. I've studied a small amount sure. of Reiki. I know just enough to be a little conversant, but I'm certainly not practicing it. Yeah, um, I also study polarity therapy, which is the work of Dr. Randolph Stone. Mm -hmm. uh, took that with Mary Jo Ray Jerry when she was uh, teaching that here in Columbus. She's still an active okay. healer here, um, and that is also working with the positive and negative poles of the body to move the energies through the body and like any good healing system also includes diet, mm -hmm. uh, movement, um, and energetic processes of clearing the body. Yeah, help it help itself. A lot of housekeeping. Right? A lot yeah. of housekeeping, yes. And uh, I think about all that stuff and, and it's just like, I think people are more familiar with acupuncture because at some point or another I think you've gone through a chiropractor's office and I feel like sometimes they team up. You know, sometimes and what so, and I, that's personally where I had my experience with acupuncture. And then when I was talking to you about it, I was like, oh, the, the Reiki almost seems like doing it with your hands instead it's a of little with bit, needles. Yeah, it's a little closer or to acupressure. Like Reiki yeah. can be hands on or it can be off the body because the energetic body extends beyond the physical body. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, cool. Well, um, we'll just let's do a screen share real fast, Jonathan, and show people because you've got a beautiful website. I, I actually enjoyed yeah. going through it and inspired me for a lot of the actual uh, questions that I was asking. But you guys can go here. Uh, I found that it was really easy to Google. Um, I see you're building up some good reviews on Google and Yelp and everything like that so people can check out what other people have to say. Yeah, we have consistently five-star reviews because we really are a locally family-owned business and we really aim towards customizing our sessions mm -hmm. to your needs. So unlike a place that might be a franchise where it's like do this protocol exactly, yeah. it is you kind of pick and choose what, what are you, you working on yeah. and how do we support your path? How do we support your wellness goals? And we have uh, a wide range of very skilled therapists mm -hmm. that can then, we can then, if we understand your goals better, mm -hmm. we can match up the right type of practitioner. We have people from what we call very clinical, therapeutic, all the way to the people who incorporate Reiki and we call the very woo practitioners. Sure. And depending on where your belief system and your uh, um, needs are, we can match you up to someone on either end of that spectrum or somewhere in between. Um, for what will help you achieve your stated goals. Yeah, and I saw you guys have memberships too. That will save you a we little do. bit as well. And, and then we you encourage can kind of get people. On a cycle. We now have Mind Body, and so we encourage people mm -hmm. to book through the Mind Body app. Oh, okay, and cool. so that's really the easiest way. And we do have a membership. You're not required to be a member to come. Our, it just uh, saves you a little bit, right? Right, and uh, we have uh, corporate partnerships. So if you are with a company that wants that wellness benefit for your employees. Mm -hmm. Uh, drug-free, pain relief, keeping people functional longer, sure. we will offer um, packages for that, cool. um, special deals for the corporate uh, mm -hmm. uh, people. Uh, additionally, we have, um, when you pair the infrared with the massage, I just can't emphasize enough how much that combination helps. really helps people. Yeah. yeah, the website is, it's awesome. We've been, because uh, I come from marketing background. Sure. It's a little tricky to book on, though, so I really recommend that you either just call us or use the Mind Body app if you want to book a session. Okay. It's much easier to do that way. Uh, we are open seven days a week, and we are really willing to work with you on your goals. We have some different packages, uh, two for Tuesday if you want to bring somebody. Oh, cool. um, it's, yeah. it's two in the sauna for $40, so it's $20 each. Yeah. And, you know, gives people a chance to come with their friend Just and try, try it. it out. Yeah. 
Awesome. Well, any last uh, advice or oh gosh, wisdom uh, to leave uh, leave our viewers with? <laughs> come and see us at Thrive. Uh, we'll definitely take care of what you need. You can recommend us. It's Mother's Day, so get your mom. I saw you had a little show. special yeah. on that too. If there's any last minute guys yeah. out there, then. the other thing that I'd really <laughs> like to reach out to are, are are the first responders because the detox with the saunas can be really mm -hmm. beneficial for them, and we give a discount rate for that. Uh, we've been kind of trying to reach out to that group, and all we get are the women. Because the men are all superheroes and they're impervious, but the, the fact is that they're all getting very serious toxic, toxic-based illnesses sure. at about 45. Wow. So let's get in there and get that cleaned out. Um, Sunlight has actually sold infrared sauna boost to uh, some of the Ohio oh. fire departments. Wow! Because those guys are just, you know, smoke. Doesn't matter how powerful yeah. you are; those insidious toxins can undermine your good health. Absolutely. So we want to get that out and be able to uh, get you home cool. safe and healthy. Well, thanks so much, Susan. We appreciate you coming in and help us to learn a little bit more about something that people may have enjoyed, but not totally understanding why. You know? Right, so, yeah. So it's, it's enjoyable, it's relaxing, but it's also a huge health benefit mm -hmm. to uh, take care of yourself. Put your health a little further up on your priority list, and you'll live a lot longer and a lot happier. I agree. Well, thank you guys for spending some of your day with us again. Uh, it's beautiful outside. Hopefully spring stays with us uh, and doesn't switch to summer too fast. But join us next week. Uh, we've got Alex Ferfaro coming in, and actually Tony's going to talk to him about some uh, more like what you can do to make your website marketing efforts better online. And then the week after that, we if got If I could just Riddell. interject, Alex Ferfaro mm -hmm. is... Awesome, and he helped us with our SEO. He's wow. a great guy. I That's totally cool. endorse Alex. <laughs> awesome. So you guys tune into that. <laughs> Have a super weekend, and we'll see you next week.